Good morning, afternoon, night, everyone. Kaito here, and welcome to a different type of unboxing video here today. I can't really do my clap because I literally have a little bit of space, so I'm gonna do two fingers. Okay, there we go. Um, that, uh, for those who don't know that clap and saying so, is my little signature to kind of move my avatar from the middle to down here in the corner. But um, anyways, so as you can see here, this is a different type of unboxing. As you can see by the logo sticker right here, you can barely see it, but it says Schwartz, and I'm hopefully I'm pronouncing it right. Uh, Schwartz Gaming Let's Play. That's the sticker that's on it. And I'm gonna go into a little history about this. Okay, so um, I have gotten back into retro gaming and there's a reason for that. So currently, current games that are coming out aren't as fun as they used to be. If it doesn't have multiplayer, it's not as fun. Now, of course, there are exceptions. There are some games that don't have multiplayer, and the story mode is pretty good. You know, like um, Dark Souls, um, the new Harry Potter game. Um, I heard it's pretty good. I haven't played either of them, and not because um, not because I either I don't like them or whatever. I just haven't gotten time to play them. So, but like, you know, like Call of Duty, the story, no one cares about the stories. Some people do, not really. Um, but mostly, it's mostly currently, it's mostly the multiplayer. If it doesn't have multiplayer, it's not gonna be good. It's not gonna sell good. And I remember the times when, multi when multiplayer didn't exist and it, it was just a story mode. So you know, like, um, for example, Super Mario 64 doesn't have a multiplayer. Yes, there are hacks of them, so you could have multiplayer. Um, but and that's still like one of the top games currently played. It's Mario 64. Not the top, but, you know, it's like, it's still a game played around today, you know. And so, so, same for other games, like Legend of Zelda and stuff like that. Also, Legend of Zelda, is, yeah, I do like that game. But anyways, um, so I decided to get back into retro gaming. That's just my little quip. I, I could be wrong. You know, maybe there's a lot of games out there that are really fun, and I just haven't played them. So I could be wrong. But I decided to get into retro gaming. And actually, something happened. Um... A long time ago, before I decided to get to retro gaming, I used to see these these old shorts on YouTube from D called DK Oldies, and just as I was about to like actually buy retro gaming stuff from DK Oldies, like I guess the YouTube algorithm or something kicked off, but they're just like saying how they were a scam. You know, people were buying um, the systems that they were refurbished and all that stuff, and it turned out that they were not. So. I'm just like, okay, you know, in, in the videos, you know, they're saying how, you know, you could get, um, uh, you could get like a Nintendo 64 and a game or like, like the same, um, bundle that DK Oldies was selling for like, um, 200 something, you get it for like 130, like from eBay and stuff like that. So that's what I was doing is I was mostly on eBay, just shopping around, trying to get good deals. And then I came across, um, this user. When I was looking for a Nintendo Entertainment System, an NES, called um, Schwartz Gaming. That's not what his profile was called. But um, it's a guy who was selling a NES relatively cheaply. Like, not even 100 bucks. One controller, the system, everything. No games. No games. So it was just the, the system, all the, all the um, connections, and one controller. You know, for about a hundred bucks, if I remember correctly. And I said, huh, that's a good deal. You know, usually I've seen NESs that were yellow and they're going for around the same price, but this one looked to be all white. And so I messaged the owner or I messaged the seller and I was saying, you know, hey, you know, it's like, is the picture of the NES going to be the same? You know, like, is it, is it the NES mini? Um, you know, something that they came out a few years ago or like, or is it like the original 86? Is it 85, 86? I forgot. Um, then, you know, he was telling me all the stuff. 86, 85, 86, it's, it's working. All the pins are replaced, all that. Yeah, all that good stuff, right? So then I'm like, all right, cool. So I ordered it, and I was talking to him a little bit more. I was talking to the guy a little bit more. And he, I found out that he has a small store. So he's a small, uh, he has a small, or he calls it a small store. I've never been there because it's uh, in Nebraska. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. But um, I don't know where in Nebraska. All I know is um, he has a website where he has, he's selling games. And for me, I think they're a relatively good price. I don't know, you might not. But um, I will put his, I, uh, <coughs> before I continue, I'm going to say this right now. I don't have a script for this because I know uh, the owner, Chris, he's going to be um, watching this video. And I don't have a script. I, I didn't type out a script or anything. I'm doing this all freehand because I don't I don't like scripts. So this is all freehand. So that's why I'm stuttering a lot, just trying to remember everything. 
from our conversations and what I can and can't say. But, um, so, so I'm sorry if I say something I'm not supposed to Chris, and I'm sorry if I left anything out. But, um, anyways, so Chris has his own store called Schwartz Gaming. There will be, in the description, there will be a link to his website. And I've been on there, and I'm looking. And like I said, for me, genita- it's, they're good prices. Um, so from what I heard, he fixes all this. Like, this is a hobby he does. He likes getting old games. Oh, I don't know if he says it's broken, but he likes getting, like, older systems. And he likes fixing them. And he made his own store to sell them. So that's what he told me. So all these, uh, he probably opened up, fixed them, and that's what he's selling them. Again, this is my first end system that I bought from him. So I'm taking him at his word until I believe it. I'm not one of these... Um, YouTubers who opens up the system and like checks to see if they're refurbished and everything. I don't know how to do that and I don't have the tools for them. I'm an idiot when it comes to technology. So if you want to, you know, check out his website, you know, look at the cost, look at his systems. You can order them. If you can open them, if you want to make a video and see if, you know, he's a good one, I think he's a good one, you know. Like if DK Oldies is a scam, and you know, I, of course, I don't want people to buy for scams. And you know, so go to Schwartz Gaming. This isn't sponsored. I only have 24 subscribers at the time I'm recording this. So he's he didn't come to me and say, "Hey, I'll give you this system, and you know, you can promote me." I asked him if if I could do this, and he said yes. And he doesn't even know what I'm gonna do. I could I could take this system, take it out, and just trash it. He doesn't even know that. So, but no, I, if this is a legit guy and he's doing good work, you know, I want people to succeed. You know, I want him to succeed. And also. <coughs> To kind of, um, as a kind of trust, he actually made a promo code for me. So if you're watching this video, this is the only, uh, if you're watching any of my videos that, that are, have unboxings of Shorts Gaming, this code will be the only where, only place you can see it. So if you go to Schwartz Gaming, <coughs> again, link in the description. If you go to Schwartz Gaming and order anything, um, if you put the code, and I'm going to have it up here. If you put in the code, the promo code RACEN10. <coughs> R-A-Y-S-O-N 10 You will get 10% off Not only on your first order But on your second, third, fourth, fifth 9,896 uh, 9, order No matter how many orders you put If you put race in 10 You'll get 10% off on all orders From your first one to your last one Until he decides to scrap Until he decides to make that code no longer available And he just made that on Friday What's today? February is... What is today? February something. It is February 11th. So he made that code February 10th. So there you go. February 10th, he made that code live. Race in 10. Unless he and he deactivated it. But um, yeah. Go to the description. Go into his store. Get whatever. Get, get a system. Get a PlayStation. Get a Nintendo 64. Get a GameCube. Get an NES. I think he has a Super NES too. I can't remember everything he has. <clears throat> You know, put in the code RACEN10 for 10% off. Not just your first order, but any order going forward until he decides to deactivate that code. And it will be fun if he deactivated it after this video. <coughs> so let's get into it. Now, this box is kind of big. So I'm kind of wondering how to do it. But I think I got an idea. And I had a, I had a binder on top of it to keep it close so the logo wouldn't um, work. So yeah, um, RACEN10. It's a, it's a promo code just for this video. If you're watching this, again, I have 24 subscribers. He did not... This isn't a sponsor or anything. This is just a guy, a small time channel and a new store owner trying to get work together. And oh, and I also got something else. It's not just this, but I'll show that later. So here's the controller, the NES controller. We'll start by um, unwrapping this. I did open the box because I didn't want to struggle opening it on the video. But and I did look inside what was in it, but that's all I did. I didn't take nothing out. But I just knew what was in it. So here we have the controller. And as you can see, it's, um, it's gray. It's not yellowy from what I see. And also, I'm not going to be able to show it. Like, I can't connect it to my TV and turn it on and show it working. Because how I have my, my setup, my recording setup, I can't do that. Like, this is my table, my computer is, uh, my computer, my co- TV is on the other side of the room, and I'll have to move my setup and everything, and I'll just ruin it. So, I'll, t- I'll tell you in the comments if it turned on, and I won't lie to you, and I'll actually cook it up to my TV and do everything, and all that, and I'll tell you if it does work. I'm pretty sure it will. Um, let's see, it's a bit yellowy on the back, not too much, but, like, of course, I'm not expecting super brand new, right? You know, like, you can see some 
you can see some scratches right right here. It's like a little scratch. Or is that a hair? Okay, it wasn't a hair. Just like a little scratch. It's not like super noticeable unless you're really looking like right there. And again, I wasn't, I'm not expecting this to come in a perfect condition because it's a, you know, the NES guys, it's 80s from 86. If this came brand new out of the box, I'm pretty sure it would not cost me a hundred bucks. But this is what, this this cost me a hundred bucks. And you know, it's a, little, a bit dirty in the back. You know, you could just wipe it a little bit. Nothing, um, I'm pretty sure it's nothing too big. But let's see, let's hear the buttons, let's see. The buttons seem to work. Well, I, they're not plugged into anything, so I can't really say that they work, but they're not sticky. Yeah, they're not sticky. They don't feel hard to use. It feels good. I'll put that over there. And we got this. Man, I was hoping for a pop. Probably a good thing I didn't do that. Or probably a good thing it didn't pop. And we got little peanuts. I think these are called peanuts. Um, here's more cables. I... Yeah, cables. And here's to plug it in. You know, the AC adapter. Made in China. Uh, here we go. And supposedly everything is legit. There's no fakes. Again, I this is the first thing I bought from him. So I can't really say if he gets any... I'm, I don't know if he gets any, I don't know where he gets his stuff. You know, that's, um, that's probably like a Q&A for him not for me because i just i don't know him like in a deep level i'm getting to know him you know I'm, I'm hoping to have a good relationship with him in the future maybe one day he'll promote me that like that's like a dream for every small youtuber is getting like a a, prom a promotion from someone you know like hey our sponsor not promotion like a sponsor and here we have um white and yellow i thought they'll be black and red did i say white and yellow i meant red and yellow I thought they'll be black and red, but whatever. Maybe they don't have no more black and reds. I don't know. But my TV, I do have an old TV. And so I, it can't accept these. So I, I can't test these out. But here we are. Ugh, that's a big, a whole bunch of stuff. I gotta buy something. Oh, peanuts. I gotta buy something to put all this in. All right, now for the big system itself, I think that's the last one. Oh, there's a lot of peanuts in here. I just made a mess. Damn it, Chris. Chris, I'm blaming you for all these peanuts that just invaded my room. There's one in my shoe. Dang it, Chris. Okay, look at all these peanuts. Order from Schwartz Gaming for your peanuts. No, I'm just joking. I understand the peanuts, like I do. Uh, you know, you got to keep your system safe and all that. Uh, can't really see it. Yeah, I'll just pull that out. Look at all these peanuts. And I still haven't picked them up all up. I just got the ones that were in my shoe and like in my vicinity. But anyways, let's get on to the big system. Okay. Now, I'm not going to say... Oh, crap. There's more peanuts in here that I didn't even see. I'm not going to say this is refurbished because I don't, me personally, I don't know what refurbished means. I don't know if it means just opening it up and um, checking if it works, um, taking all the dust off and whatnot. So I don't know what all that means. So that's why I'm not going to say it's refurbished when I don't know if it means, cause, and also I don't want to lie. I don't want to say if it's if it's not refurbished, but he says he, he, he does open them up, cleans them and all that stuff. But again, I don't know if that means refurbished or what, but um. So here it is. Make sure there's no game inside. Okay, no game inside. Dang it, I was hoping for a free game. Alright, uh, so here it is. The NES. Um, it looks clean. Power, reset, ports 1 and 2. When I was opening it up, I did notice a few scratches in the bottom. Again, I wasn't going for perfect condition. It doesn't say it's in perfect condition, mint condition, whatever. It's not yellow. Um, nothing's broken. From here, that has a yellow, it has a little green sticker. I probably mean that it's in good condition. I don't know what the stickers mean. Either. See, there's like a little scratch right there. Again, not nothing too big. And again, now, oh look, the video and audio are red and yellow. So audio red, yeah. Um, there we go. It's a little bit scratch right there too. Nothing too big. 
this little chip right there. Again, this is a hundred bucks. So I'm not expecting it to be in perfect condition. So far, I'm not disappointed with it. There's a yellow, there's a white port back here. The AP or RF switch, not AP. Uh, AC adapter, uh, channel three and four. I remember, I remember this. Uh, that was so fun. Um, uh, no, there's some more chipping right here. Not chipping, uh, not, uh, scratches. Sorry, I don't want to misinterpret it. That's whatever that is. It's like a little leaf kind of thing. A little debris. Um, just some more, a little bit of wear. Nothing bad. Me, per again, me personally, nothing, nothing to complain about. Like nothing to say, oh, this is bad. You like, you stole me out of money. And here, you know, the bottom is probably is what's going to be the worst of it. Um... I mean, again, nothing for me that, nothing deal breaking for me. Again, it was a hundred bucks and mm. I like it. You know, again, it would be better if it didn't have this, but again, you can't go for perfect. And it didn't say, he didn't say make condition. He didn't say nothing. Maybe that's why he didn't say anything. No, I was joking. So is it a deal breaker for you guys for that, that the scratches for a hundred bucks? You know, it should have been 80, should have been 40, should have been free. I'm just joking. It's, it's never free. I like it. So here we're going to connect this. Uh, okay. So putting in the controller smoothie, you know, so did I put in Porter player one? Okay, yes, I did. I put in player one. Okay. So there we go. Now for the test. Uh, again, I don't have a TV to connect it to. I wish I had like a small TV right there that I could test it out. But maybe in the future, cause now that I'm doing these unboxings, this is my first unboxing for any um, retro stuff. So please forgive me. It might not be the best. And I'm still here. I'm just trying to get some stuff. Okay, it's not working. I'll just bring it over. Okay, so I do have a local um, retro gaming store near me, and I bought some games for the NES, and we're going to try it out. So here we have, you can see some of them right there on the side. Alright, so here we have The Legend of Zelda, uh, Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. And again, I don't have a TV to connect it to, but I got this for my retro gaming store. And I'm pretty sure this game also, I'm pretty sure... Chris also has this in his store. In his um, store, you could buy this exact same one. I think it's like 40 something bucks, I can't remember. But this is the one I got in pretty good condition, I think, you know, good. The stickers are right. You know, not many scratches. In the back, it has more scratches in the back than in the front. Let's see if I remember how to put these in, because it's, like, it's been like years. I think you go with this with the label up. Okay. I probably got that wrong. Is it labeled down? Nope, it won't go label. What? Okay, it won't go label down. Like, I'm scared. I don't want to ruin this on accident. Okay. There we go. So that works. I'm not, I'm not scared to take this out, guys. Because I don't want to accidentally break it. All right, there we go. It was a little bit hard to take it out, and I don't know if it was because of me just being a a, a wimp and like be just being afraid to take it out, or if it's just like, a, like I don't remember. I, I think it's just me being scared because I actually I, like I feel like I'm gonna break these. Like if I I fear like if I put a lot of my strength in it, it's gonna break it. And here is Super Mario and Duck Hunt. There we go. You know, you can play it, close it, all that stuff. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm like taking these out the wrong way, anyways. Because I, I don't, I never owned an NES. It was my cousin who owned it. So I never really mastered how to take it out. I just put stuff in. And whatnot, but anyways, I like it. 
And you know, here we have, um, I also got Mario 3. And I'm gonna be trying these out later. But also, I bought some other stuff. So here's Mario 3. Um, but also, where did I put this? While I show my the other things I got. I think I'll put it back in the box. With all the peanuts. Chris, too much peanuts. Okay. This is the other thing I got from from Schwar Schw I can't pronounce it. Um, Schwartz Gaming. There's another thing I got. I got this, and I got this at my local retro gaming store. It's right there. And I also got to test it out. Okay, so first from our alert from my gaming store, I got Pokemon Blue. Pokemon Blue version, as you can see here. It is authentic. I don't know how I can show you that it's authentic. Um, but yeah. I just take it like I, I don't I don't know if it's authentic or not. It's, I'm just taking their words for it that it's authentic. So I'm not one of those people that are like, let's see, oh this is not authentic, this is fake. I I, I don't know how people do it. But in here I ordered these two from Chris. Pokemon Red and Yellow. So I have the trio. Here we have Pokemon Red. It looks the same as Pokemon Blue. The cartridge. Pokemon um, Game Boy MT. This side out. And then here we have Yellow. And I think they're a pretty reasonable price. Um, Pokemon Yellow was like... 50 bucks, maybe almost 60, and I think this one was, um, like, these two are around the same. You can check them out on his store if you want to play, you know, Pokemon Yellow, Red, or Blue. He has both. He has all three of them, unless if I took the last ones. I don't think so, but he has all three of them, so check them out. Yeah, he probably replaced the label because, you know, as you can see in Pokemon Blue, you can see how it's, like, pushed in right there. Um, it's pushing right there. I got that one from my retro gaming store, and these were from Chris. He probably replaced the labels to make it look better. I don't know though. Again, I'm not I'm not his employer or anything. But let's check these out. Okay, so let's do Pokemon Blue first. We'll put in the SP because it's the only gaming system I have that could play these games. So there you go. Turns on. There you go. Pokemon Blue. Oh, it has to continue. Who had it before? A, A, A. Oh, okay. It has to continue, but um, no one played it. I guess they just tried to see if it turned on. So they just like, A, 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 A. All right, Pokemon Red. Let's go. Chris, don't let me down. It's fake! I'm just joking. It has to continue as well. Me. Lick me. What the? <laughs> Who did this? Chris, is this you? Or is it from the person who you bought it from? You probably just checked to see if it turned on. Changed the battery if you needed to or whatever. Chris, this is all your fault. Uh-oh.
There we go. This has to continue as well. It's a Pikachu. Okay. Well, besides what the questionable save data, um, I think it everything looks all right. I'm I'm happy. You know, you I'm not gonna keep the save data, so of course I'm gonna change them. But those were the Pokemon games that I ordered. Let me test something out again. I didn't know you could do this. Anyways. Okay, so. There you go. Pokemon Red. Or Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. The NES and all that stuff. So. I don't know. What do you guys think? Again, you could go to the Schwartz Gaming. Check it out. He does have... He also has a Twitter. So you can ask him questions. He has... um an Instagram, he has a Facebook. I'll try to put all this in the description. So, like, if you have any questions, you know, like, maybe I did something wrong in this unboxing, and you're like, oh, I don't like that. Or, like, maybe I an I didn't answer something, like, oh, like, do all his, con like, do all the uh, systems have, like, scratches at the bottom? So, yeah. So, if you just want to ask him something, again, I'm not the best at unboxing consoles, because this is my first one. I'm new, all this other stuff. So, I'm pretty sure I butcher stuff. And I probably made some stuff look worse than it actually is. And, again, that's my fault, not Chris's. So, don't blame him. Blame me. It's all my fault! And, again, use, um... If you do want to order stuff from him, you know, check out his games, check out his consoles, do all that stuff. And, again, Race in 10, I'll put that in the description as well. Race in 10, and you can get yourself 10% off of not just this, um... Uh, not just this... Order, your first order, not just your first order... But also for your second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, or nine hundredth and ninety ninth order, up to your one thousandth order, if you want, you know, you could buy. Great um, if you use race in ten, you get ten percent off of any of your orders. And also, I did not get this from Chris or my retro gaming store. I actually bought this to kind of hold me. This is because I bought this way before to kind of hold me back because I didn't know. I thought finding Pokemon Red, Blue, or Yellow, you know, same with Gold, Silver, and Crystal. I thought they were going to be hard to find. So, like, to kind of hold me off, I guess, or to hold me, to entertain me. To entertain me, I bought these fake games, and yes, these are fake. I'm not gonna, go, I'm not gonna say how they're real or anything, but I bought these fake games to, like, kind of hold me off, hold me back from, in case I couldn't find them, or if they were gonna be too expensive, which I am kind of right. Um, I think gold, or not gold, I think silver goes for, like, 100 and something. Not silver, crystal. Crystal goes for like a hundred and something. But, um, yeah. So, the, I, I got these fake games too, and that called me back to hold me off to whatever you want to say. And yes, these are fake, you know. Um, here, I'll show you. Yeah, I think the best one to go is with Crystal. All these are fake games. I got all these, all three of them, for like 60 bucks. And, of course, I knew full well that they were going to be fake. But, like, here you can see, like, it's just a little, it's little cheap. So, yeah, there you go. All of them have the small chip. But as long as they played Pokemon, I was all right. I didn't. I, I knew they were fake going in. I wasn't going for authenticity. But yeah. So all these are fake, and all these are real. Supposedly, again, I'm not an expert. Let's compare the fakes to the reals. Look, Pokemon Green. I don't think this ever even made it out of Japan's, but this is an English version of it. Ugh, I can't open it. I always have trouble opening these, and it's not because I have gloves on. And that's another thing, too. When I couldn't take out the games, it was kind of slippery with my gloves on. So, don't think that all the games are stuck in there now. Why oh, can't I open this? 
It's funny because the green one was the first one I opened, and now I can't even open it. Oh well. Okay. So as you can see there, it's darker. The cartridge um, looks a bit darker too. Blue looks relatively the same, but maybe because I just like blue. <laughs> uh, but there you go. Can you tell which ones are the real and which ones are the fake? I know I can because I'm the one that put it. <laughs> but yeah. Again, so everything is going to be linked in the description for Chris. Uh, his email address, his Tinder account. I'm just joking. It's not None, none of that's going to be included in there. It's just going to be his Twitch. Not, he, not Twitch. Twitter. He might have a Twitch. I would ask him. But his Twitter, his Instagram, Facebook, and anything else I can get out of him, maybe his Tinder profile, um, I'll get all that information out of him and put it in the description. So, again, I'm sorry if I made anything look bad, Chris, when you're watching this. I didn't attend it. It's just, again, I have gloves on. They are slippery. And I mostly do the glove things for my for the collection cards because I have, I have, you know, I get, like, rare cards. And I don't want to get them with skin oil, grease oil, whatever, for my fingers. That's why I always have the gloves on. And it's just a staple now. So, um, yeah. I didn't mean to make anything look bad. I'm sorry if it comes looking out bad. Again, ask Chris your questions if you have any questions. You know, if maybe you want to buy an NES, but you want it, you don't want it as scratched up as mine. You can ask him questions like, hey, you know, are there any... Non as scratched up as his, you know, even though they're not they're not game breakers for me. And I have some of these for blue as well. But um I will be buying from Chris again. I will. I know that. Um what about you guys? Again, race in ten for ten percent off on all your orders. And I hope to see you guys in my future videos. I'm hoping to buy a PS1 from him next. So thank you for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace and love.